Hello beautiful people. If you are new here, my name is Joe. If you are not new here, welcome back to my channel. It is so great to have you all here today with me. So we have a bit of a change of scenery. I'm doing a different angle. Is it because I think it looks better this way? You can see my bookshelves better. Or is it because I just didn't want to make my bed? The jury's still out on that one. I have no idea, but we'll see how this goes. It took a little bit more effort uh, to set up. Let me know down below which one you prefer, if you care, if you give a shit. So today we are going to be talking about the worst slash most disappointing books that I read in 2022. This video was supposed to go out the Wednesday following my last video, but um, literally the day after I posted my last video, shit hit the fan and I've been hanging on for dear life ever since. Lover Revealed by J.R. Ward. I mentioned in my last video that I am having a little bit of an obsession with the Black Dagger Brotherhood. I think this is book five. I'm not gonna look it up to check. The Black Dagger Brotherhood is pretty much like a group of warrior vampires who were battling against this society called the Lesser Society who were like undead humans. It's a whole thing. They fall in love with people. It's delicious. It's sexy. It's wonderful. This book actually follows Butch O'Neill's story who before this book takes place was the only human within this group of warrior vampires. I really did not like the way that J.R. Ward took Butch's character. I didn't enjoy Enjoy it. I also found Marissa, who is the heroine of this particular book, to be absolutely horrible. I hated her. She was just so boring and irritating. She is the Mother Mary of all Mother Marys and her incessant purity culture bullshit just got on my nerves. She has no idea what a naked man looks like. She has no idea what pleasure is. Those types of things. It just got on my nerves. It ground my gears. I didn't like it. Okay. Moving right along. Next, we have Cold Hearted Rake by Lisa Klepez. I didn't like this one. I didn't like this one. I'm wanting to read more historicals in 2023. I tried, I dipped my toes, I enjoyed a couple. This one was not one that I enjoyed. I wasn't expecting for the rakey, the rakeness, the rakishness to absolutely just get on my fucking nerves. It just got on my nerves. I didn't like the hero of the story. I thought that he was kind of insufferable in his assholiness. I also thought that he was kind of rapey at times, which I was not very comfortable with. I really, really like the asshole heroes, the heroes with a kind of like gruff edge to them, but this guy was just kind of rapey. The heroine in this story was a badass. I really enjoyed her character, but the hero just ruined it for me and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. The Protector by Ellen Peer. This is the first book in the Men of the North series. Um, let's talk about it. So a little bit of overview of what this book is about. Pretty much there was a huge war thousands of years ago. The people who survived the war blamed the men who were the leaders of these countries. So they decided to set up a female-led government. Um, there was a group of men who did not agree with this female-led government and they formed their own little cabal up in the north. Present time, we're following our heroine who is an archaeologist. There's a library found in the north, like an ancient library that was supposed to be at a college, and she wants to go excavate, right? So she goes to the north. This book was filled with so much misogyny that it literally made me feel sick. It left a rancid taste in my mouth and I absolutely hated it. I found it so disgusting and because I found the sexism so disgusting and the male characters all just insufferable. I couldn't believe the romance. I couldn't believe the romance. I didn't like them together. Even when the hero of the story, I don't even remember his name, but I remember when he was going to rescue his lady from this other place, he was making sexist jokes about how women's place was in the kitchen. I tried to pick up the second book because I've seen so many people love this series, but within the first two chapters, the R slur was used and the F slur was used. I could not get past it. I couldn't get past it. It was gross. It's supposed to be about bridging gaps and learning from each other, you know, this type of stuff. I didn't learn shit. I fucking hated it. The Pale Court Duology by Liv Zander. This one is not so much a bad, bad, bad book. Okay, so I had a little a brief period in uh, 2022 where I was really wanting to explore dark romance. This duology was floating around on TikTok. I saw it. I was like, mm let's try it out. The abuse and the violent acts toward the heroine pretty much were put in there for shock value and no growth was there at all. And then in the second book, the hero was just a whiny bitch who just held a grudge for the entirety of the book and it just got on my nerves. I just felt like he was an idiot. 
at the end of the day. And nobody wants to read a romance about an idiot. I'm sorry. Speaking about idiots in romance, Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRoe. The main problem that I had with this book was the heroine. The heroine was thrust into this new world of demons and darkness and mayhem and magic. And instead of listening to her demon companion, she decides that she knows more about these demons than he does, knows more about this magic and corruption than he does. She makes stupid mistake after stupid mistake to the point where it just gets ridiculous. There were constantly points where she was just doing stupid shit for no reason. And I feel so disappointed by that because I really, really, really liked the hero. He is a demon. He's badass. He's nasty. Knows he's nasty and doesn't care. I loved him. And Ray just ruined everything. Next, we have The Stopover by T.L. Swan. This is book one in the Miles High Club. This story follows like a one night stand situation in which they separate and then a certain amount of months later, she, the heroine, ends up interviewing at this business that the man owns. Uh, what's his name? I don't even remember this guy's name. I have blocked him out of my memory. Jameson. He was the most toxic motherfucker that I've ever read about. Their relationship was just ridiculous. It was constant arguing, constant fighting. This was the type of relationship where you read about it. They're good, they're bad, they're ugly, they're nasty, they're great again. They have makeup sex over and over and over and over and over again. And it was just toxic. It's not something I like to read about. I absolutely hated it. A Lady of Rooksgrave Manor by Catherine Moon. This one was my first um, experience with straight up erotica and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I just, I had so many issues with it. Okay, so in this story we're following our heroine who is a wanton woman and she gets the chance to pretty much be a prostitute sex slave of sorts to all of these various different mythical, mythical creatures that can't otherwise get sex from other people so they, you know, go to this like menagerie. I have discovered through reading this book that I am a romance reader. There was no build up to it. It was just boom, bang, fire, power on every single page. And then towards the end, the author tried to introduce some semblance of a plot and I didn't know why it was there. I was very confused. And everything in the story felt underdeveloped. The heroine felt underdeveloped. The relationships didn't like it hated it. So those were all of the books that I absolutely hated this year. Um, I feel like I got a little bit saltier than I meant to. I got a little bit into it. I apologize. I'll apologize. Apologies for my passion. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already so that you don't miss any more future bookish content from me. I hope that you do, but that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.